Welcome to ChicagoGaelicSports.com. I'm Jack Hamilton. And I'm Tommy Dolan. Um, this is our second podcast bringing you all the action from the Daily Games out of Chicago. Um, after last week, we received a lot of good feedback from everybody. Everybody seemed to enjoy all the clips and the commentary and stuff. So we definitely encourage you to keep on sending in all your suggestions and stuff. And we'll, uh, we'll try our best to incorporate that into future podcasts and uh, give you more of what you want to see. Yeah, definitely. Um, this week, uh, at the park, we had a lot of good games. Uh, we're going to go and review some uh, ladies football, uh, men's senior hurling, and uh, a few men's football games. We'll go ahead and take a look at the first clip from the ladies game. Take a look at it. So you saw a clip there from uh, the ladies' football game. That was uh, the Rovers in the white and the Gales in the blue. Um, the Gales came out on top of that game. Um, but in fairness, the Rovers did play a great game. You saw a good score from uh, Luis Igo there. Mario Boyle also played a really good game. Uh, Tommy, you know, you're the trainer for the Rovers. What do you think of how they played? Yeah, uh, not to take away from the Gales, great win there. But um, a lot of credit to the Rovers. They're an All-American club. Uh, they're putting it in Mondays and Wednesdays. And Hopefully, as the summer goes on, we get more training and uh, we'll, we'll be uh, up there with these uh, clubs. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, the Gales did look really strong. Yeah, I'm actually I'm really interested to see the next time the Gales play the Bridges. I think that this could be a good game to see. And uh, you know, the great thing about the Rovers is that it's a really young team. You know, they're all American-born girls. Their yeah. average age is what about 18 years old. Yeah. You know, so there's going to be big things coming coming out of that club in the future for sure. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, two eight nine four nine six zero. Today we just watched the uh, senior hurling, uh, Limerick in the green, Bowling in the green and gold. Uh, despite the obvious win there by Limerick, um, me and Zach might have different theories on uh, who played well there because uh, I played the Bowling myself and Zach's out there in Limerick. Uh, great ball movement there between Stephen Crean and myself. Uh, didn't see much of Zach in that clip there. Uh, I don't know where he was, but uh, it was, it was a, it, in fairness, it was a good game and uh, Limerick deserved the win in the end. Uh, what do you think oh about? yeah, you know absolutely. Like Limerick, you know, they came out, you know, drew first blood. Um, good goal from J.P. McCarty in the, probably the first two minutes of the game, you know. Um, and, like, you know, Limerick, we just didn't stop. And, uh, you know, like I said, it, you know, like you said, great ball movement. You know, obviously on the Limerick side, you know, put up a scoreline like that, yeah. of course. Um, you know, carrying on our unbeaten record here in Chicago, senior hurling for four years now, you know. So, um, we're looking to change that right now this year. Yeah, well, you know, that's what, you know, <laughs> we have four years so far and, uh, nothing yet, so. But, um, yeah, you know, it's a good game, and, um, you know, Bowles are just back to training, I guess, in the last week, so hopefully they'll come out with a, a stronger side the next day and uh, yeah. see what happens in a few weeks' time. Yep. Alright, that was um, 
seen a football action from this past weekend. It was the uh, McBride's in the green, the Parnell's in the red. Uh, McBride's ended up with the win this past weekend. Um, Tommy, what did you think? Yeah, that was uh, one of two senior games. Um, McBride's looked real strong. Um, you saw there in the clip, it was great ball movement. Um, you know, it's still early though, so I mean, the Parnell, they, they still have a good chance. Uh, you know, they got the tone coming up. Um, that should be a good game. Um, I think that's on the 18th. Is that kind of right, is it? I don't know, the break does not look happy over there. What's wrong, bud? What are you putting your hands in the break? Uh, it says July 8th. Right they're, uh, they're playing, uh, they're playing the Thomas on July 8th. You can't even read that. Really <laughs> I don't have my own. Script says it's 8th. You, yeah. you gotta have it all open and right side up, so. Just read your stuff. Come on, dude! All right, that was uh, the second of uh, two senior football games over the weekend. We had the uh, Plunkets in their uh, new flashy white kit. Thought they looked really good. Looking fresh. Yeah. And the uh, Tones in the blue. Um, that was a really good football game. I think there was only about six points in at halftime. Um, tones looked real strong, and the Plunkets, you know, no one really know what to expect from them, but uh, they looked real good. And um, it's good to see that caliber of senior football. Yeah, and, you know, like you said, the, nobody knew what to expect really from the Plunkets. This is the first year of the club, and uh, – this is the game that everybody is really looking forward to this weekend and probably the you know, past couple of weeks because the Plunkets, you know, have started from, with boys that used to play with the Tones, so there's a bit of like underlying rivalry there and, uh, you know, everybody's kind of waiting to see what was going to happen with that. But, you know, really it was just a, a clean game of football. And like you said, it was a good standard, you know, it was, it was nice to see. I think they really delivered. Yeah. So that's all the time we have for this show. Um, we won't be having a show this coming week because of the 4th of July holiday. There's no games out of Gilly Park, but we'll be back in two weeks with all the highlights, you know, once again. And uh, real quick, we just want to keep our thoughts and prayers. Uh, Mark McGovern, um, he was injured uh, in San Francisco playing at Ulster, and uh, he remains in a coma. So uh, we uh, thoughts and prayers to him and his family. Um, and then uh, Greg, I want to make sure that I stress this to all you guys out there. There's uh, a game Friday night, July 8th at 6 p.m. The Parnells will take on the Tones in uh, senior football. Wait, what is it? It's uh, July 8th at 6 p.m. Okay. So I, yeah, 6 p.m.? Yeah, get it apart. Get it apart. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a senior football game. It should be a good game. Um, we hope you all can make it out there and, uh, we're looking forward to seeing you. Yeah. So thanks for joining us. Like I said, we'll be, uh, we'll be back in two weeks. Can I get a sandwich? Burrito. Get a burrito. Yeah!